Now Harald Schmitz, Global Product Manager for Smog and Q7 modules, will give us more information about the Smog modules, uh, why they are created and what they are. Please go ahead. Harald. So, so SMARC, the, the SMARC Mobility Architecture, is a new standard which was uh, created like two years ago by Contron and Adilink because we, we saw there is a need of a new standard because the established standards like ComExpress and Q7 are pretty much focusing on the x86 architectures mm -hmm. and there did not uh, there was no uh, arm oriented uh, okay. standard available and the smart uh, standard pretty much focuses on the arm uh, cpus and also on, on system mm -hmm. on, on chips uh, platforms and uh, this is the the market uh, which will be addressed by, by mm -hmm. this uh, kind of standard which was uh, in the past i think proprietary there, there have been a lot of proprietary arm yeah. designs and with this new standard, we are opening up this market for a, for a standard module approach. Mm -hmm. And where are the main differences? It's just the form factor or the other differences between ComExpress and yeah. Q7? Yeah. Um, of course, it's, it's the module size, but in particular, it's, it's the pinout. The, the IOs which are demanded and mm -hmm. supported by the new standard is, is more um, matching uh, the ARM SKUs. For example, it supports LVDS, mm -hmm. I2C, I2S, uh, SPI, and not so much the traditional PC oriented interfaces mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like USB or PCI yeah, Express yeah. or all this. Uh, so if you if you really want to start a design with the ARM SKU, then the SMARC uh, mm -hmm. standard is is uh, is, is better uh, to be used compared to Q7 or, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or uh, Comet Express. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned it's a, um, a standard for mobile applications, but are there also other applications as well? Yeah, there are mobile applications uh, because it's really optimized for, for power, for, mm -hmm. for battery uh, powered, battery driven applications. And the ARM uh, SKUs, they are very efficient in using the power mm -hmm. compared mm -hmm. to the high end x86 yeah. uh, uh, CPUs. But of course, you can also use it for, uh, for a, station, a stationary mm -hmm. box PC mm -hmm. yeah. if, if you like. Um, so you have all the options. Mm -hmm. And how does it fit in the Internet of Things? Because Internet of Things is a very big topic here at the show. And mobile uh, I devices think it fits, are connected. Yes, and, yes. Yeah. I think it fits very well to the, to the Internet of Things, where uh, basically you want to connect all, a lot of new devices and machines which are mm -hmm. out there in the, in the plants and elsewhere in the streets. And you need uh, connecting infrastructure. Um, you, need, you need gateways. Uh, and you need uh, control units which uh, collect sensor data. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these are typically uh, smaller devices yeah. with less power, mm -hmm, less performance. Mm -hmm. and, and this is the, the sweet spot for the, uh, for the smart mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. And do you have products in this range here at the show? Um, we have a range of products from the entry level to mid range and also to high end. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we, we have an NEC 3517, which is based on the uh, TI AM 3517. This is really a, a entry level product which is suitable for Internet of Things mm -hmm. applications, has no PCI Express, has yeah. good graphic uh, uh, performance, but uh, um, is, is used. Uh, uh, maybe uh, in, a, in a remote control uh, application. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, uh, on the other hand, if you need more graphics performance, um, a smart module which is called LEC uh, IMX6. Mm -hmm. This one um, uh, is based on the Freescale um, mm -hmm. ARM Cortex A9 IMX6 uh, processor, and uh, multiple CPU configurations are available from single to quad core, so mm -hmm. it's, it's scalable a lot. And and uh, supports uh, um, two displays, uh, LVDS, uh, PCI Express, and all the other embedded mm -hmm. IOs. And it's even available in multiple temperature ranges. Yeah. And as a unique selling point from, from ADLink perspective, it also supports the, the SEMA API. Mm -hmm. This is um, um, an application programming interface we are supporting for uh, 
uh, remote uh, management and monitoring, and we have a uh, SEMA cloud application even running at yeah. our booth where you can remotely control all your units mm -hmm. that are out there in the IoT world. Mm -hmm. okay. So that fits very well, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. at, the, at the high end, at the, um, as, I, as I was saying uh, previously, it's, uh, the smart uh, standard is also good for system on chips and we put a Intel uh, Baytrail mm -hmm. uh, CPU onto the smart module. This is the latest generation of Intel Atom, the, the E3800 series, also available from single to quad core. Uh, powerful graphic, uh, two displays, full HD, mm -hmm. PCI Express and all the PC oriented interfaces and also camera interface and this comes from the from the smartphone and mm -hmm. tablet business but it's also used in the embedded yes. industry a lot um, for many different applications like in medical um, and this is also available with the SEMA API, with the SEMA cloud connectivity mm -hmm. and in, in multiple uh, temperature ranges. Yes. Okay. Um, you mentioned that the smart is a standard, there are multiple suppliers, yes. why should one of the engineers buy? Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically our, our uh, unique selling point is we, we have, together with Contron we have established uh, mm -hmm. this, uh, this standard so, so we have spent quite some effort in, in defining the pinouts and everything together with the partners. Um, we have uh, local support in all the uh, geos where our customers are, are needing our support in North America, mm -hmm. in, in Europe and also in, in Asia Pacific. Uh, the SMARC Center of Competence is located here in Germany, in Mannheim, mm -hmm. so basically most of the module designs are uh, done here and we have a local support for our customers here in EMEA. And uh, when it comes to production, uh, we have two own production mm -hmm. facilities, one in Shanghai and one in Taipei, so uh, we can respond very fast and very efficiently to customer um, requests when it comes to specific configurations mm -hmm. because we, we control our, our, our factories uh, on our own and, and, and can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank All you right. very much. For, yeah.